Canberra, Cam, Cam, Canberra, uh, Canberra. Yeah, Canberra Fowler. Uh, you know, you know the, the driving force behind volu voluptuous horror of Ka Karen Black. Uh, like this, what, you know, I, I don't understand uh, you, 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 your, your makeup. I don't know how to describe that to people. Uh. Well, we want to be very beautiful and ugly at the same time, yeah. so that you don't really know whether or not to give us a bouquet of flowers or throw up upon seeing us. This is really a homespun, uh, low-budget operation, so we're very happy uh, to see you know, a lot of the kids coming out to our shows you know, on our tour. Because this is our first tour across the country, the first time we've ever done this, so it's very exciting. When, uh, when will the new album be out? Because it sounded really good, the new material. Well, I don't know. We recorded a single already on um, Sympathy for the Record Industry. And uh, that's with a couple of new hit songs, Honky Tonk Biscuit Queen and um, Water Coffin. But I'm not sure when the second album's coming out. I'm impatient about it. I want it to come out right away. But it's one of those things like, we're broke. All right, let me tell We are broke. Nothing. So we're going to try really hard when we get home to uh, round up some cash. Yeah, uh, it would be great to be on a can of deviled ham. That's one of my dreams. Well, how did you get to be the diet uh, spokesperson, Diet Pepsi? Well, I grew up in Los Angeles on Diet Pepsi and Tab. And instead of waiting for them to you know, hire us and ask them for us to sponsor them. We did ourselves and did all the videos and the commercials so that when they're ready to ask us, we'll have everything finished. You mean you grew up in LA, actually? Or? I've been on a diet since 1972. One thing I want to tell you, uh, the song where you brought out the tissues and everything, does that have something to do with uh, the time you were like depressed or you could cry a lot? And was that, was that, tell us about that a little bit. That, that song is sick bed. that we would make uh, a whaling wall and we decided that we would mass market them so that everyone could have a whaling wall in their apartments so when you wanted to go on a crying jag or when you were terribly depressed you could just lean up against your own whaling wall and cry and also we found out that in Jerusalem where the whaling wall lives you can fax you can send a fax to the whaling wall of your prayer so we thought oh we'll just build one here Canberra, I was gonna, I'm gonna pass on to Danny in a, in a minute here, but uh, you were in a couple movies like Shadows, how, and uh, by Ari Rasimov, is that right? Uh huh. And how was working with uh, like the real Karen Black and also uh, Annie Sprinkle and other people like that? Well, Annie Sprinkle, gosh, well she's one of our spiritual mentors. She's been so. She hangs out in the city here a lot. She's been very inspiring to all the Karen Black members and. Um, so she's just she deserves her own plaque or a statue or a fountain in the middle of every town, I think. But uh, as far as the actress Karen Black, uh, she's kind of an overprotected nut at this point. I don't want to. I, I I think I'll change a name soon. I just would rather not give her any more free publicity. Okay. Now in the 90s, you made a couple videos, like these uh, actual on Bazaar video labels. Is that right? And. Uh, are those still available? And, and, and uh, was that a, a healing process to do those? And uh, tell us about that. Well, it was about as healing as any day job could be. My day job is being an s and film star. And those movies are very cheesy. They're, you know, in the United States, you can't do any really grisly s and things. Like, um, I made a movie where I sewed my vagina shut. That was a private film. That stitch right there was actually like that, the lip is a little bit cuckoo because we had a knot there and we had to yank it through, so it was a little uneven. And, and uh, but actually, what, what, what was the purpose of that whole film and what's it really have to do with the band? Well, it was more of a um, private project and the band isn't about um, this kind of um, uh, explicitness. The band is more PG-13, really, more like a children's pageant. <laughs> but I don't know, it was one of those things, you're sitting around the house and you're mad. And uh, I thought, this is a great way to end a lousy relationship. Oh. I got an Academy Award nomination right. in Las Vegas for, for those films. Now, did the egg trick, did you get any of that from, have you heard of Karen Finley? Yeah. Is that part, she does something similar to that, right? Or with the, like with the snow or uh, sprinkles or 
Rose and coming down. Uh,